First of all, I just want you all to know this is my 279th time trying to record this video because I'm doing too much at one time. I admit it. That's number one. Number two, don't talk about me having shades on. I forgot my earrings this morning and I feel naked. Never mind the fact that it's cloudy, it's supposed to rain and snow. Never mind that. You can go ahead because I'm going a totally different way, but thank you for trying to let me out. Holiness is still right. Um, wait a minute. It's still right, okay. Um Okay, I just have a big That's number two. Number three, don't talk about me wearing the same thing all the time. Listen, I just gave away a bunch of clothes. I need to give away some more. The Lord has been on me about my wardrobe and stuff. He's like, Renisha, get it together. This quarantine got you real comfortable, honey. You know this ain't you. He didn't say it like that, but you know I'm putting his words into mine. Quarantine had me real comfortable not having to go in the office and stuff. And he was like, nah, go step your game up, honey. Look, brand yourself. Don't be getting on these YouTube videos looking, you know, you don't have to be dolled up all the time, but. And don't be going out, going out looking all kind of ways because you never know who you're going to run into. Come on, you never know what business opportunities you're going to literally bump into. So get your life and listen, that's all I know. My mama and daddy always dress nice and that's just, I just don't know how to not be who I am okay so that's that I also have a ponytail in my hair today I'm feeling real bappish shout out to not shout out rest in peace to Natalie the lady from BAPS done died y'all and they said she was 53 and I'm like no she wasn't 53 first of all we know black don't crack but let me tell you why she wasn't 53 she wasn't 53 because in my mind she is the same age she was when she recorded BAPS Whatever she was, whatever age she was when she filmed Baps, I feel like that's the age she is. So don't be talking about she 53, okay? Because she's not. Also, Debo. Debo from Friday, y'all. I'm about to stream all of Friday. I'm about to stream all of Friday today, and I love that movie anyway. Debo is gone, y'all. 2020 has just, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. But I wanted to talk to you all really quick about dating. I just want you all to be intentional. Don't be out here desperate. I know some there are some people that literally cannot be alone. Like they can they go from one to one. Okay, I'm here today and there tomorrow. This doesn't work out. I got this the next day. Now I get the fact that we're not gonna be mourning forever, but can we have some type of resting period or something? Like, can we just take a break? Like some of y'all, I don't see how y'all do it. Just jump from one to another. Okay? And everybody, everybody is different. Just because I do something or don't do something, it doesn't mean that it's for you or that it's not for you. Okay? And I wish you all would understand that, especially when it comes to marriage advice. Because y'all will sit here and get marriage advice from people that's been married, you know, for a substantial amount of time which is fine doesn't mean that they're happy just let me throw that out there because people these days 30 35 years being married and now you want a divorce how are you gonna leave me after 30 or 35 years i don't know why you think i'm going to let you leave after 30 or 35 years at this point we are invested okay you can i'm gonna give you a license to do whatever you want to do but we got money together we done build stuff together what you're not going to do is leave me okay and that's a joke i don't want y'all to think i'm crazy that's a joke you're not getting a pass here if you want to leave then leave but you know all i'm saying is the point i'm trying to make is you can everybody has issues okay every marriage is going to have problems do not take the advice of anybody and just think okay they did this it worked for their relationship before so it's gonna work for mine that is so dumb okay i don't care who it is you have to remember you're not going to be married to them and your spouse won't be married to their spouse take the advice that they give you and then make it tailor-made 
make it fit for your situation, your relationship, your situationship, your entanglement, whatever it is you're in. Understand that just because it worked for your pastor does not mean this is the route you need to take. Just because it worked for your grandma and they was married 50, 60 years does not mean it's going to work for you. Okay? Even if it's good advice, you have to figure out, okay, what can I pull out and um, transfer into my relationship without trying to recreate what my mama or my daddy, my grandma, my great grandma, I mean my grandma, my great granddaddy, or my pastor have had or have because you are not them i'm not telling you to not take these people's advice because there is safety huh i can't hear nobody in a multitude of counsel so do not take this video and go out like a reread talking about renisha saying we'll need advice no that's not what i'm saying you're you're being stupid you're not stupid, but you acting stupid right now. You acting real stupid right now. All I'm saying is stop holding these people up like they're God. Because you see the good, you don't see the bad. Take it and say, okay, Lord, how can I make this work in my situation? Because I know even in my court, there's some stuff I've heard that worked for some people, but I'm like, if the dude I'm with tries to come with this, I'm going to be like, well, if that's what you want to do, just go be with them because I'm not. Don't bring that over here. Now, we can try this. We can do that. But you're not going to be married to them. You're going to be married to me. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Um. Also, I want you all to be super intentional. As it relates to dating, period. Like, me personally, I don't like wasting my time although i have wasted so many people's times in the past and i knew i was wasting their time i knew it wasn't going anywhere i knew that they may have wanted something i didn't but because i was bored or lonely or just wanted company at the time i entertained them don't do that don't be like me that's really why i wanted to make this video don't be like me um and just decide you want to date just because it's the thing to do or because people are looking at you because you're oh shoot because you're not dating um or because you're lonely because it was never the whole people are looking at me thing for me i would just be bored or lonely and i'm like well until that one comes i'm gonna just talk to this one and i know he i know he really likes me or I know I really shouldn't be with him. I know God is not pleased. Can we go there? Like I knew with some situations, the Lord was not pleased. The Lord was like, girl, why are you wasting your time? You know, good and you know that this is not what I have for you. And I still entertained it. Don't be like that, y'all. Okay. Um, I really wish... No, I, I'm not even going... I'll leave that for later. I'll leave that for later. Um, just make sure when you're dating, you're dating with intention... intention inten, wait, intentionality. 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 Y'all know I have a gap, right? And because of that, I have, I have a slight lisp. I don't know if you all notice that. So sometimes it's hard for me to pronounce words. Don't come for me. Come for your mother. I may get braces one day. Who knows? But I just want y'all to be intentional. And I have other stuff to say that I said on the other videos I recorded before this. But right now, I just don't want to go there. Now, I was going to release a video today about um, the fear of marriage. Because Holy Spirit let me know yesterday that some of you all are decreeing and declaring that you're going to get married but you're really afraid and we need to address that so make sure you go watch the video i did yesterday check out the pinned comment let me know what your fear is as it relates to marriage and most of the ones that i've already seen were stuff that holy spirit gave me before y'all even commented but i'm gonna drop that next week okay so bye y'all